Our house was flooding the other day, crazy. I've seen that glimmer. That is it. It's flooding here in Sydney. We're about to go for a treasure hunt. There's a football field underwater. And you should see our house too. Our house is actually currently a little bit underwater, isn't it, Noah? Our house was flooding the other day, crazy. Now we can go swimming on a football field. All the way through. We've got duckies on the football field. That's the footpath and roadway. And there's fish in there. Let's gear up and get out there. The tree's here and we will find it.
Like stealing candy from a baby. Sorry, Mr. Octopus. Not a bad start to the day. And that is not a $10,000 gold ring. Not yet. Next up, we have an old Pex jar. Really awesome find. Vintage. And three golf balls. One that I stole from that octopus. Iron Man move. Let's go. I already got three of them today. And the octopus took one of them. Just on Bill Gola Beach. Let's get into it. We've got our first target on our first line and surface. Let's dig it. That is going to be right sitting on top. Everyone's at the beach losing their stuff. It's crazy. Nah. <laughs> Bottle top come up like a two dollar coin. Those of you who live in Australia know what I mean. Solid 13 at two inches of depth. Now a bit more deeper. So we're gonna about two inches. Ah, uh, 10 cent coin probably. 10 cent piece. Let's keep going. Got another target, 22, 23, and it is deep. Could be a crusty old two dollar coin, a one dollar coin. Let's dig it. We're gonna up to a 25. Well, okay, what is that? Maybe a one cent piece, bring it up at 25. We're coming into some old coins here. We could actually get some uh, pushed up old gold possibly. One dollar coin. She's crusty. I've already picked up a one cent coin, a dollar coin, and a ten cent coin, and everything was old and crusty. A three and a four. A low tone. Top of it. About an inch. Oh, I've seen that glimmer. That is it. <laughs> you little beauty. Whoa! <laughs> Check out the diamond on that. <laughs> Three quarters of the way, that's actually covered in diamonds. It's covered in diamonds all the way to the back of the ring. Check out the size of that diamond. It's actually got a diamond just underneath it as well. So you've got the big diamond there. 29 diamonds, including the statement diamond. <laughs> that thing is huge. She only rang up as a four or a six. That's what I mean, guys. I, I see people every day 
They say, oh, why do you dig fours and sixes and twos and threes, guys? Dig them all. Dig everything. It's going to be a higher grade of gold. I'm guessing it'll probably be 18 carat. Especially with a diamond like that. Check out the beach. You can see there's been a lot of sand movement. I rarely come to this beach, so I don't really know what to look for when it comes to sand erosion or where people even sit would be a, a good area. To have you know, crusty old coins like that, this really looks like a good location. The sand's really soft though. I want to stay, but I just don't have time. We're going to shoot over to Cronulla now. What kind of cake is that, Noah? It's a chocolate one. <gasps> chocolate cake? She wants to do it herself. There you go. Independent young lady. It's hot. Yeah. I, it's hot. Look, that would have been the picture.